Den Camp Top 50 returned for the second year in its revamped format this summer, bringing together 50 of the top juniors in the country for a four-day camp that culminates in an all-star game for the top 20 ranked players. The aim is to provide exposure, coaching and competition for the country's best in an elite environment with a mixture of coaches from America and Europe. Going with a slightly younger age group this year, there was an agreement among the coaches that the talent level was down. However, with less of a gap between the top and bottom guys, it has led to a more competitive camp. So last year we had um, probably 12 to 15 that were right on the top and then it trickled down a lot. This year the very close. We've got like 20, 25 kids that are all right there. The rankings every night and every um, during the day have moved up a lot, which is good. It's what you want. So um, last year Jules was number one the whole way. This year we've had four different number ones. So it's completely different to last year. Um, so that's, that's been good. I think that's a good thing. I think overall the talent is not as high as last year, but spread across the board, it's definitely closer, which I think makes a better camp. Um, I think the talent level is solid. Uh, there's not, a, there's not um, as many guys who are separating themselves from the field, which may be a situation of more depth. Um, although I don't think there's, you know, there's not a couple of those guys from the very top elite guys that, that separated the way they did last year. The Wild Deng, as always, was in attendance at the camp and his trainer Jacob Ross from EFT Sports Performance in Chicago also came, not only to prepare Deng for the season, but to work with the players. He says there were two things most of them needed to spend more time focusing on. A lot of the kids don't lift, if they do, it's just upper body lifts, they're not doing anything for their legs. Um, with Luol, we lift legs every other day. And there's a reason why he's led the league in minutes. There's a reason why he's, he's, he gets injured like any other player from contact stuff and he doesn't stay injured. It's because he prepares his body, he prepares his strength, and he really takes care of himself. And then the nutrition side, not just for here, but for most kids, it's generally poor. They really need to educate themselves about sports performance nutrition because that's something that can really take your energy and your performance to the next level and your recovery to the next level, both sides of it. So you play better and you recover better, so you're able to just escalate your level of play a lot quicker. It was Moses Baikwazo who ended up being the number one ranked player, going from a reserve to ending up the top player at the camp. Coach Mantegna shared with us his standouts. No, I think RJ's had a great week. I think Moses has had a great week. Um, and I think uh, Alex Roberts has had a really good week. Uh, those three guys really, really stood out to me. And I think they're ranked one, two, and three, and I'm a part of those rating system. I've been very impressed with all three of those, uh, among others. Luke Mitchell's had a really solid sort of under the radar week as well. I think the standout for me has to be Moses. He was a reserve. Um, so someone to be a reserve and then be number one is kind of a... I'm not saying we've done something wrong now. I think the kids come in and really said, you know what, you should have chose me and he's backed it up, which I love. I love the story. You know, I love Moses, he's a great kid. I've known him before. And he's come here and he's just said, you know what, you should have picked me and I'm taking out on everyone. He's probably the standout kid that's come here and really taken it personal. The 6'2 Preston's College guard admitted his disappointment in not making the initial list, but instead used it as motivation after receiving a late call up. I feel like I should have been in the initial top 50. However, I think, and obviously, I kind of like made it known and then obviously I got invited again to the camp. So I came in focused and obviously I've been working every day to actually feel what I said. So yeah, just have to back my talk. My aim was just to come in top 15. So obviously, I guess the hard work pays off. Then, so yeah, I'll be happy. The top five was rounded out by Ola Eodeli, RJ Atul Rock, Alex Roberts, and Melky Sedek Moreau all of whom say they have learned things they will carry with them for the rest of their basketball careers. The biggest thing I've learned is you can't take time off because when you take time off, people just can just go by you by like that straight away. So you have to give it all from the start to the end. Uh, Le was a great inspiration for me. He told us that we need to take care of our body first of all. Like, you can't just expect things to be given to us. Like, you have to earn it. Nothing's given in this, in this sport. So he just makes everything seem so real. And it's, it's not out of reach. 